Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how not to install a Multi Plus MPPT BMV 712. Let's just get right into it. Remember, if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. It's kind of unbelievable the installation job that occurred on this Airstream before I got it. I'm not sure who did it. I don't know if it was a previous owner or if they hired somebody, but this is why I preach on my channel, you know, to educate yourself and deep, deep, deep dive into stuff because not only was this installation extremely incorrect okay but it was just not safe i mean the mppt charger not secured to anything battery monitor not secured to anything wires that could just easily touch other things within reason just going down the road so uh, let's just let me just go ahead and show you what we got going on so in my new airstream it already came with a multi plus two and the multi-control as well as a bmv 712 uh, battery monitor however um first night yeah, I, I was boondocking at a Bass Pro Shop and I go to look at the battery monitor and something just seemed off. The the amperage draw, um, current draw, whatever it is in the app, um, just seemed a little weird to me. I couldn't really put my, my finger on it. Well, so I didn't think much of it, went to bed, battery died overnight. Irrelevant. Point is, I get home today and I decide, all right, I'm going to go ahead and tear into this thing and let's see how this install is. And let me show you what not to do. Now I am happy that this uh, RV came with this stuff right up front because it gives me something to, to build off of down the road or I might just gut it and go completely different anyways, but at least it was pretty accessible. There's just one, one shelf right here that they had, quick, easy, remove a few screws and I have full access to this thing. However, check this out. First thing I notice is that the MPPT solar charge controller, number one, the connections are just jammed Let's see if I can get to focus. I mean, they're just jammed in there. Bad, not good. Do not do that, number one. Okay, so they're just jammed in there. I mean, they're they're loose, okay? And then, ready for this? It's not secured to anything. It's just sitting on top of the multi-plus. It's literally just sitting here. So as it's driving, it's getting shaken all around. Horrible, horrible, horrible thing to do. Always, always, always mount these. I don't understand why this is not mounted, okay? Uh, moving down to the BMV 712, same thing. It's not mounted. It's just sitting here on the on the ground, and it's like right next to this wood. You could have easily secured it in there and just give it a nice sturdy spot. Multi plus, big, huge inverter charger. Ready? Not screwed down. I mean, I just I can lift it up. Uh, I I think there might be screws. In the back back there, I haven't, I haven't gotten too far into it because everything's still on right now. But for the solar charge controller to not be mounted and secured, the BMV 712 shunt to not be mounted and secured, and then the this back side or the top side technically of the Multi Plus 2 to not be secured, I'm starting to raise a whole lot of red flags on this system and I want to make, now I got now I got to go through everything. Well, so uh, again, because I, I noticed a little something weird was going on with the battery monitor, I decided let's go ahead and just trace some wires and see what's going on because like I always say trace your last known power source and so off the battery here you got the, the negative that goes down to the shunt and then off the shunt goes out that direction and I couldn't really see much else well then I just <laughs> glanced over here and there's a connection for the solar charge controller and the connection that goes into the uh, multi plus is just plugged in right here it's it's supposed to be plugged in right here by the way okay right there boop 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 where it says load everything off the batteries it goes from the batteries from the batteries it goes into the shunt and then off the other side of the shunt is the load and that's everything nothing ever ever should be on the batteries whenever you're using a bmv 712 or any shunt system because now nothing no current is going through that thing for um you know the the multi plus and the and the mppt so i didn't trace this other wire yet to see what it's going to i think it goes back that way a little bit but either way the point is holy crap so now i'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this fixed. I'm gonna shut the system down. I'm gonna disconnect the negative and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move these negatives down to my load. Okay, so about uh, 20 minutes or so it took me to go ahead and change up some stuff. Let me show you what I did. First things first, I took everything off the negative so that it all feeds through the shunt. I moved everything to the negative there. Okay, then I shifted the multi-plus up into the front left corner here uh, to give a little bit more floor space so that I can mount the MPPT at least down to the ground down there. I don't like it. Um, I'm not going anywhere right now with the RV, so I'm okay with it for now, but something different is gonna happen in here. This is just an initial fix to try and get some stuff going. And then I also redid the connections in there um, to get them a lot tighter. So next I am gonna go ahead and check the settings on the Multi Plus 2 because depending on who put it in, if it's a reflection of the work with all this, I'm gonna bet this thing is not programmed properly. So let's go ahead and get my MK3 to USB adapter and get it plugged into the computer. All right, so the settings um, inside the Multi Plus uh, were not bad. Um, I did change just a few things, mainly just out of preference. Um, the They were set to lithium, they were set to um, within Battleborn's recommendations, um, but I just changed up a couple other settings that I personally like. Um, to, to change just because I know the multiple systems and how they function. But uh, otherwise, that portion of it was fine. So maybe they had this thing programmed and uh, sent to them. I'm not really sure. If you are watching this, if you did this install on this Airstream, it's a 2012 Flying Cloud that you might have traded in or sold to uh, Bish's RV in Longview, Texas, um, drop, a, drop a comment below. Let me know what happened. Did you guys install it? Did someone else install it? Um, if someone else installed it, that's not good for a professional company or someone representing a professional company to be installing something like this. Um, if you did it yourself, hey, it's a learning curve. You know, I'm sure you probably noticed the system wasn't working right for you, but um, I got it fixed up for now. It's good enough for, for what I need to do right now. Um, that's all I'm gonna share with you guys on this one. So if watching this video just teaches one person one thing, that one thing is if you're not comfortable doing this type of installation, these solar, Multi plus inverters, stuff like that. If you're not comfortable with that and you just don't know, you might want to just hire somebody. Okay, there, there's tons of people out there, there's tons of traveling RVers that do this uh, professionally. So, you know, look around in the campground you're in, there might be someone there who can do these installs for you. If you are not comfortable, do not do them. That's it for this week's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Why not RV? Bye.